you talking? Why would you go next? Who? You. You talking, nigga? <laughs> I took mine last time. I said, Drew Holiday was playing as MVP. Yeah. I don't have a hot yeah. I don't hey, have a hot tell you about that Thunder Express. We Let's tell you go. about that Thunder Express sauce, nigga. You next. You next. What is now saying? It's Express sauce. Go. We said it's hot solid. sauce, not chili sauce. All right. Man. All right, nigga. I'll take mine then, since you're pulling out the chili sauce. Maybe when I take mine, you have enough time to go get you some damn hot sauce, nigga. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of On Second Thought, where we talk NBA basketball. So if you love NBA basketball, this is definitely the show for you. And this is episode number 10. This is the season finale. And boy, does time fly. I, I can't believe it. It seems like we just did episode one last week. Now it's episode 10, the season finale. So let's go ahead and let's get into it. I'm your host, Tramel Jeffers. And I have the crew with me. I have Miss Taylor York. I have Lance Bledsoe, Mr. AKA Cold Take. <laughs> and then wow. I have my guy, Jerome Bradford the State. How y'all doing today? I'm great. Couldn't be better, man. The season. Been in and oh, out of sleep. But I'm up now, so let's get to it, man. Let's get to it. Let's go ahead. Let's get to it. And as you all know, the Milwaukee Bucks are your 2020. 2021 NBA champions and it's their first championship since 1971 so congratulations to them congratulations to Giannis Antetokounmpo for winning finals MVP and he pretty much proved everybody wrong so let's go ahead and let's recap these finals and I want to I want to know y'all's thoughts on the finals what did y'all think about it this year um well I mean you know we had to take what we could get I know everyone was like, oh, these are small market teams. This is no fun. But I think we got what we needed out of this finals. Um, I think my biggest takeaway is that the uh, the Bucks were able to make the necessary adjustments to win four in a row, whereas the Suns weren't necessary. They weren't able to do so as well. I think a lot of people expected for the Suns to get blown out and just for it to be only game three where they got blown out by like what 20 and then you know the rest of the time it was on they were within 10 um I think that's great for a team that's as young as they are uh as successful as they have been especially on the like recently on the uprise that they're on it's unfortunate that they lost but I mean Devin Booker has a whole chance to get a whole gold medal out here in these streets so you know not everybody can win but he has a chance to he about to be salty on that team playing very salty. Oh, I'd hate to be. Oh, you gotta look at Drew and Chris face to face. Oh, I hate it. Hey, oh, I go home. <laughs> Mr. Cole, take what you think about the finals this year, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Uh, let's get ready to bundle. You're gonna stop calling me there. <laughs> nah, uh, honestly, uh. I feel like it was a good, it was a good um, NBA Finals. You know, we didn't have, you know, usually like two super teams going against each other. But I feel like we got a good uh, NBA Finals this year. But uh, my biggest take, I just feel sorry for Chris Paul. You know, sixteen long years, and he really it took him this long to get to the finals, and he came up short. Man, it, I'm really, I'm really kind of disappointed with him. He just gonna be one of them players, another another great player who never won a ring, but. Man, Giannis, man, hey, I think it's time to say that he's one of the top forwards to ever play this game. It's time to say it. He didn't done it all. He literally didn't done it all. Defensive Player of the Year, uh, two two MVPs. He got a ring, and now he Finals MVP. And he's only twenty six. That's the scary part. So, man, but now nah, shout out to the Bucks. They did their thing. And like Gianna said, he ain't need to go to a super team to give him a ring. He did it the right way. And this is that's the old school way of basketball. That's how I like to see it. So shout out to the Bucks, man, for sure. Absolutely. Jerome, what you got? Man, I just got to say, just seeing these finals, dog, it really showed that it's really a game of possession. The Suns are arguably three possessions away from 
holding that Larry O'Brien. If you think about it, that Chris Paul turnover, that Giannis block, and that Devin Booker turnover. Other than that, I mean, they they would have been champs a couple of days ago. So, to be honest, like, it was really a closer finals than it really seemed. They did lose four in a row, but, I mean, two of those games could have went either way. And honestly, um, I'm like, I hear what Lance saying. I feel for Steve P and Bug, but they had their chance. You know what I mean? Like, just got snatched away from them. And Giannis just, shit. That was one of the most, the more dominant finals I've ever seen since, I don't know, D-Wade, since, since I've been born, shit. You know what I mean? So, Especially for someone who plays that position. Yeah, the, the four, three, hybrid, three, four, man, killing like that with no jimmies, like, that's yeah. that's incredible. Like, he was just grown man in it, just brute strength, like, yeah. I don't know, man. I can't say nothing else about the guy, to be honest with you. And Drew Holiday... He did what he had to do. He was scrapping. Chris Middleton did what he had to do, and they came back champs. And PJ Tucker, the only Rocket from that core to get the ring, dog. He beat all his team, former teammates. All of them, the, all the starters. Crazy he was the last one. Crazy. crazy. Yeah. yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, like y'all said, congratulations to the Milwaukee Bucks. Uh, what I saw from the finals, it was great basketball. Shout out to Coach Mike Budenholzer. I know I. Crucified him. I crucified Giannis during the playoffs in the first, second round. I said, uh, Coach Bud, he can't he can't make adjustments. That's his problem, man. They'll never be successful because of him. I said, Giannis, he doesn't have a game. He can't shoot the jumper. He doesn't have a post game. But, I mean, he's just so dominant. He probably doesn't need one, and he proved that in these finals. And then for the Phoenix Suns, I think this, this series showed that once they found a healthy team in the playoffs – they, they they just couldn't get past them. I know the first round when they played the Lakers, AD was hurt. Uh, they got lucky and beat the Lakers. Second round, they got to take advantage of a Denver Nuggets team without Jamal Murray. Then in the conference finals, they got to take advantage of a Clippers team without Kawhi. And now they played the Milwaukee Bucks, who were fully healthy. And once Milwaukee tied it up and got their role win, this series was over. So. Then who was flickering the lights? Nosferatu! So now this transition. I like how you said, lucky. I like how you said they was lucky to beat the Lakers. No, I mean, I oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They were. I got to keep it real. They were. I wasn't luck, though. Hey. That wasn't luck. <laughs> All right, man. It's whatever. <laughs> but we're going to transition to our next topic. And... We're going to talk about the legacies of Chris Paul and Giannis Antetokounmpo. What does this do for both of their legacies? And let's start with you, Tyler. Uh, as for Giannis, like Lance has already stated, he has basically checked everything off the list that every NBA player could dream of. Um, All-star game, defensive MVP, MVP of the entire league, you win your first ring, and you get finals MVP, like – it's very rare for someone his age to check everything off that list. You know, it, it's really rare. And for him to be able to do that, I, I believe he needs more respect added to his name. As for Chris Paul's legacy, I don't really think it's gone anywhere. I feel like it's still stagnant where it is. Yes, he's considered, I feel like he's considered a legend in the NBA for his position, but it has not increased to where he would like for it to be. Um, Cause out of all the banana boy, banana boat boys, he's the only one without a ring. So, yeah. What you think, Lance? Oh uh, yeah, piggyback off what Taylor said, Chris Paul. I mean, uh, he's still a, he's still in my mouth, rush more of, of point guards. I mean, yeah, it probably could have elevated more if he would got a ring this year. But let's be honest, didn't nobody expect the Suns to go to the finals this year? I don't care what nobody yeah. say. Didn't nobody see this coming? Even with all the teams they played, they had injuries that nobody expected this. So with Chris Paul even making it this far in this time, in this time of his career, in 16 years, that's just right there, it's just amazing. 
uh, and for his age, like, too. It didn't go down. His his uh his legacy ain't go down or up. It's still the same. Now with Giannis, like I said earlier, Giannis is uh, easily top fours of all time. It's time for us to say that. Like it's time. Like, and if you're not saying that, I don't know what you want. Or what else you want him to do? Because he really didn't done everything. And he's only twenty six. So honestly, man. I hear what Lance is saying too about chastising CP. Like, um, basically, like you can't you can't elevate him, but at the same time, you can't take anything away from what he did. I mean, like like I was saying before, he was three plays away from being the NBA champion. That's how close this shit can be. Now, I mean, that's what separates great players, honestly. And Giannis just showed he was the most dominant player in the series, and. To be honest, like you just can't take nothing away from the man. He built it, homegrown product. He didn't cheat the process and he went through his downfalls and they overcame. So I think if, to be honest with you, Giannis retired today, you got to put him in top 15 ever. You got to put him in top 15 ever. Look what he's done. Let's just. If, if you could have a reservation for top 15 ever, I think it'd be defensive player of the year, most improved player, all-star game MVP. That's just, just what, the last four or five years? But yeah. back-to-back MVP and finals MVP? Shit, if if Kobe Bean Bryant did that, we'd be saying he was the GOAT. So That's crazy. We saying is he, what, only, he's only 26. And only one year <laughs> older than yeah, like Lance right. said, that's the scary part. But yeah, Giannis, he definitely solidified himself in that class. I mean, this was a, a first, and last championship. first and last championship. It's cool. <laughs> yeah, okay, whatever. We'll see. But this was a dominant playoff performance from, from Giannis, all playoffs. And then the elimination game to end it and win the championship. 50 points, 13 <laughs> rebounds. That's just ridiculous. A Shaq, Shaq didn't even do that. that. That's crazy. And then his field goal percentage was awesome. He also shot the free throw uh, better this series in, in the NBA Finals. He did. And, yeah, he might be the, the best European player of all time. I mean, you could put him over dirt because of the, the two MVPs, the defensive teams, the defensive player of the years. Yeah. I don't know. You could make an argument for it. I probably would put him over dirt yeah. right now. Yeah. And he's only 26. That's crazy. But then the CP3 thing. You look at accolades. Yeah, you look at accolades. Yeah, I, I think you have to pull him over Doug, maybe. That's the best European. But CP3, uh, I think this hurts his legacy. Now, some people already, yeah, absolutely. Some people didn't even didn't even have them as his top as their top five point guards. Now people are gonna make the argument that Gary Payton, Jason Kidd, Steve Nash, no one was John making Stockton, Gary Oscar Payton. Robinson. We already know Curry, Isaiah Thomas. Magic, we already know that. So it's it's about seven to eight point guards that they're gonna that they're Who is gonna. Saying Gary Payton is better than CP. Some people really think that. Some people yeah. are arguing that. That's that's. I mean, that's yeah, not really a bad argument. And CP three, no, wait, 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 wait. CP three, CP three is one of the reasons why they lost this this series. They were up two zero. He, he chose is. game four. Oh, in game is. five, he didn't show up. And then game six, I mean, he had a, a decent a decent game, but. It wasn't enough. He he has to elevate his game, and he didn't do that. But well, I think but did you expect his legacy. But did you expect the Suns to go to the finals this before the season started? Uh, no, but they're there though. They were they already made it. Yeah, exactly, no exactly, exactly. Okay. He took. But we he didn't take a super team to the either. finals. He took the Suns to the finals, who two years ago was one of the worst teams in the NBA. Come on, man. But we know they got there because of injuries, and he got there, and they didn't finish the job. So you have to hold him to uh, to a certain extent. So yes, he does deserve some of the criticism, and I think it does hurt his legacy, absolutely. But Lance, you trying to stall? We already know, man, because you know why. It's time for the hot take. So yeah, let's go ahead and get it. And hey, who we um, go ahead. We got a sponsor yet? Last episode? Nah, we don't. Oh have my it. gosh. We'll get that for season two, man. We'll we'll be more organized. <laughs> And everything for season two. So let's go ahead. Hell, man. God. And let's go ahead. Let's pay up for these hot takes. Lance, you're going to need more than one bottle of water after these. Let start drinking. Hot 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 my boy. <laughs> let's go ahead and let's get it. Who paying up first? Who paying up first? Uh, I'm up first. Ladies okay. first. Let's go, Taylor. Um, 
So my final hot take was that I had Devin Booker averaging 30 uh, and Chris Paul would be finals MVP. I mean, mm. I still stand by my statement, but you know, things happen. It happened. So um, here we go. Oh yeah. <laughs> all right who's hot wear hell uh i ain't finna do all that she trying to get me sweating again on this episode oh well, no because i'm safe i'm here to win who next man it's too much talking going on it ain't enough you it ain't enough. Shut up. Shots going you shut on. up you shut up you shut up because you were scared you to right that i don't want to hear what you're gonna say you're talking why don't you go next who <laughs> You, you talking, nigga? <laughs> I took mine last time. I said, Drew Holiday was playing as MVP. Yeah. I don't have a hot yeah. I don't hey, have a hot tell you about that Thunder Express. We Let's tell you go. about that Thunder Express sauce, nigga. You next. You next, What is now saying the Express sauce? We said it's hot solid. sauce, not chili sauce. All right. Man. All right, nigga. I'll take mine, then, since you pulling out the chili sauce. Maybe when I take mine, you have enough time to go get you some damn hot sauce, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Egg rolls, nigga, what the hell? All right, let me see the ticker. All right, mm-hmm. See, this is why I don't get, because if you really want to look at the advanced statistics, I might not have been wrong with that one, so. You feel me? Y'all set me up, but all right. All right, what's that second one? I had two, right? Oh, <laughs> two dumb hot takes. Wait, was it dumb? Yes. C- if CP ain't sell out, Ruin my nigga back to back. <clears throat> Excuse me, it's also awesome. forty point games for crying out loud. I'm sorry. Yeah. <clears throat> Come on, man. Almost kissed the bottle. All right, Lance. Now let's go. Uh huh. Now let's pull up this dumb hot take he had. This <laughs> cold take Lance turn it. Cold take Lance turn it. Dumb a dumb take Lance. <laughs> <laughs> we go ahead and show it. There we go. <laughs> well, well, at first I actually had a, a better hot take, but I let I let these clowns on this show influence me to make a hotter take because I guess my taste be too cold. You know what I'm saying? But I don't care though. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to lose, so yeah, this, and I, I got the Buffalo hot sauce. Three too, Western Conference Finals take. Man. Yeah, I would just like to say. I got, I got five, so uh, yeah, here we go. Uh, Who had the best take? So, Who had the best while take? While he's doing this, while Lance is doing this, he takes his, oh gosh. Okay, while he takes his little five shots, Wait, I would like to say that um, not only do I succumb to peer pressure because uh, Ryan Aubrey could never could never with me. Um, the only man that I will put that much faith in is God. Amen. Only one. I would never. Could never. We're literally drinking the bottle. You better, Lance. <laughs> My boy Lance is a different breed, dog. Also, while Lance is doing this, I Ooh. would like to uh, call out TD. Oh, yeah, TD, um, he's definitely. The guys know I got beef with TD right now because we're still waiting on this hot take of his. And that was many, many moons ago. Also, Brittany. Brittany has the oldest hot take. So, Brittany, when you see this, yes, I'm calling you out. <laughs> I'm much nicer than this. But, I mean, if I have to uh, ingest hot sauce, I feel like you should as well, TD. You have interest. So. Three hours later. Can you move it along? I'm all out of time, card. Okay, so Tramel and I are here. We are about to ambush Mr. TD with hot sauce because we got tired of him being a punk and not showing up when it was time to show up. TD, what's good, my boy? Yeah, man, chilling, man. Playing Yu-Gi-Oh. Nah, you playing Yu-Gi-Oh. You at the crib, right? <laughs> Bet I'm uh I'm outside the gate. What's the uh code? <laughs> Sucker! You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> Here we go. Hey, TD. 
me. <laughs> What's good, TD? What's good, man? Got something for you, man. What you got, bro? Brand new shirt. Go ahead and open oh, it up. Oh, man. Yeah. Let's, let's see. I'll hold this for you. All right. Thank you. You're going to need it. Oh, it's a little hot outside. Oh, this is Tabasco. <laughs> Yeah, uh-huh. Did you think you were getting away without Yeah, that? we were tired of you running, this so it's crazy. time. Wow, this is insane, bro. This is really how y'all doing this right now? Yeah. Y'all really yeah. ambushing me with yeah. the mask on? Oh, we've been uh -huh. working on this all this week. Good. I have security here, right? Wait, they let y'all in there? <laughs> One. Okay. Oh. Do we count that as one, Jamil? Yeah, this is one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and I feel like this is a good distance. Uh, this is crazy. I, just, I gotta like shake it. It makes it worse. Wash out my ass, boy. Fuck you. <laughs> uh. Oh, man. Yeah, that's one. Yeah, that's I can smell it all the way over here. Oh, you got it in your beard. Oh, he's crying, y'all. I'm not crying. My eyes are watering. If I was crying, <laughs> I'd be crying. I'm <laughs> serious. I only had to do it one shot. I'm crying. See? One oh, shot. Really, though? Lance didn't show up because Lance was supposed to be here, too. Yeah, Lance would have made it worse. Well, um, he would have made it cool. <laughs> Get it? Cool. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. So what all did we learn today? I learned to never let uh, Ryan already have your phone number. <laughs> That's it? Or your address. That's it? Uh, I, I need a stipend for this shit. A stipend? Here. I got beef with TD because he was really disrespecting Irvin Magic Johnson. Like, No, for awesome. real. Because, like, if you have no hot sauce, you have Nigga no doesn't opinion. Know who. Nigga doesn't know who. Let's just keep it. No opinion. No hot sauce, no opinion. opinion. You don't you don't know who. Urban Magic, Kyrie. Everybody took their hot sauce. Lance, you look like you struggling over there. I'm the only one that I'm didn't so have to take hot sauce. You were, man, to make a, a, you were scared to make a take. I'm gonna call I'm gonna call you scared take. That's what I'm gonna start calling you. Yeah, okay, scared whatever. Take. Yeah, all right. Scared take. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Make your take on the Detroit Pistons season. Before we get out of here. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. We're I talking about I that later. Clown, yeah, yeah. Clown, we we gonna talk about that off camera. We gonna, talk about that off camera. We, gonna we gonna wrap this show up, man. We gonna wrap it up, man. This was a this was a great season. I, I enjoy being with y'all. I enjoy talking sports. Enjoy watching y'all take hot sauce every every single week. It was fun. The dumb takes that that y'all had every week. I enjoyed it, and I really can't wait till we come back next season. And when the Pistons had Kay Cunningham, of course, and the number one seed in the East next year. Here we go. I usually go to the circus, my boy. And I want to thank the audience out there for watching as well. And thank you all for tuning in. And stay tuned for next season. And this is on second thought. So join us next season. Nets and four next in 2022. <laughs> for exclusive shows and premium content, subscribe to the Polaris Network on Patreon.